and Suchit Kitsu Nikiki. She had one son called Druva. And uh, Suruchi, she had one son called Utama. She had six more, he had six more brothers. And one day, those Utama and his brothers, they were playing on the laps of the king. They climbed on the throne, and with love and affection, the king was patting them and giving them so much of, so much of his uh, warmth. And when Druva so his brothers engaged in such uh, sweet uh, activities with their father, he felt that, oh, I should also climb on my, mother, on my father's lap and also enjoy his association. But as he was trying to do so, his brothers had pushed him down. And at the same time, Suruji was present. She claimed, she, uh, she said, Oh, you cannot access your father's throne. You are not my child. Only if you were born from my womb, you could do so. But because you were born from Suniti, which is only a maid servant, so you cannot act like this. So because Dukha Maharaj was a Kachuya, his blood became very boiling and he became very angry. And with his uh, lips curled, he went to see his mother. And he told his mother what happened. So Soniti, she was very, very... Uh, uh, She was very sad about this, what happened. And she tried to console her son. And by, by this she indicated to him that although she didn't worship God, Krishna in previous life, she wasn't so much uh, in a position to be favorite to the king. And, uh, Druha would go to the forest in order to achieve the worship of Lord Krishna and fulfill all his desires. So Druha took the instruction of his mother to heart and he went to the forest. He wanted to perform very great austerities and penances in order to achieve fulfillment of his desires. His desires that was his he wanted to become, to have a kingdom greater than his great grandfather, Lord Rama himself. So, with full determination, he went to the forest, and as he was going, he met Narada Muni. Narada Muni, he spoke very strictly to this boy, he said, Why are you coming to the forest? What happened? Boys like you, usually they don't get agreed by such uh, treatments. You should go back to play with other children. You should not be worried about uh, what happened this morning. So then, um,
started to uh, sit and only take every three days some wild fish which were there in the wood in the forest. Then after one he did this for one month and then the second month he only was taking dry leaves every six days. Then the third month he was taking only water every nine days. And then after three months, four months, he had uh, actually controlled his breathing uh, activities and he was able to breathe only once every 12 days. Then by performing this very powerful evidences, uh, his breathing, exercise, uh, breathing uh, process was completely controlled and he could with his toe push the earth and make it to balance. Just like an elephant who goes on the boat, at every step he makes the boat going from one side to the other. So then, um, he stopped breathing and his, uh, he became very powerful and the whole universe was shocked. And they because couldn't breathe, so they went to speak to uh, Lord Vishnu. And Lord Vishnu, we assured them, he said, no, he is my devotee. And we don't want to worry, I will take care of this. So Naradini, in the meanwhile, went to see Lord Vishnu and told him, oh, there is one boy, very young, five years old. He's always thinking about you. He's making a lot of austerities uh, and penances. Maybe you should give it your, your mercy. But Lord Vishnu said, oh, I don't give my mercy to not initiate the devotees. But Narayana said, no, he is my devotee, my disciple, I initiate him. So immediately, hearing this, upon hearing this, Lord Vishnu embarked on Yahweh and he went to Madhuva. And there, he gave his uh, last to Dukama. Dukama was also completely in his Somebody and he was seeing already the audition in his heart. But then when the audition appeared in front of him, his uh, realization of so the audition in his heart disappeared, so he became uh, disturbed. Then he opened his eyes and he saw the audition in front of him. So when he saw the audition, he realized that he was looking for glasses. This is of glasses. He wanted to have a kingdom, great kingdom, in order to assess his Kshatriya uh, uh, position. But when he saw the issue, he realized, oh, your lotus feet are like diamond and great jewel. And now that I have taken the darshan of this lotus feet, my heart is completely clean from any material desires. So then I don't want anything anymore. So this is a teaching in this story that if we have hakyapala, sabatakava, if we have desires or no desires or all kinds of desires, we should still worship the law with all our heart and soul and take shelter and his Lord speak. And all these desires will be disappear definitely from the heart. And at that time the Lord will manifest himself in the heart. So Dhruva Maharaj achieved his perfection, but because he had desires, his motivation was to get this kingdom. So Vishnu granted his desire to fulfill his desires and he gave him a very great kingdom of which was then created by Vishnu Kham, a scholar four star, and it is not destroyed at the time of universal dissolution. So, Dhruva Maharaj, he went back to his kingdom. At that time, his father was taking separation from him. And uh, he was lamenting, I lost my son. He was such a beautiful, just like face, son. And by my uh, harsh words, harsh conduct, I couldn't give him affection, so he left for the forest. I don't know now what's happening to him, maybe wolves or any. Uh, natural beasts have uh, eaten him, attacked him, 
But another contentment of the Son is the great devotee of the Lord. He's, in, he's on his way back from the forest. He's very glorious. He has a, she's a darshan of the Lord Vishnu. So you should be happy, don't lament. So Tanapada at that time he made arrangement for the palace and all the neighbors, the capital city of his kingdom, to uh, welcome him and everybody became very happy. Even his stepmother who uh, spoke to him with so much harsh words, she became her heart melted and uh, she was also crying when she saw him come. And in this way, the king felt that every uh, residence of the kingdom loved him so much. So he gave him the position of king after a few, few times, some time, and he left himself for the forest to achieve perfection. And Dhruva Maharaj, for 40 years, he reigned in this uh, kingdom, and after some time, he went to, with his mother to Dhruva Roga for the millions of years. The age of a man was one lakh years. So, Bharat, after he, Bharat, made a question. He left this world in his half age, fifty years age, like Malwa, like a stool passing. If you have a big pressure of passing but no way, then what do you do? In your mouth, also anyhow, you will pass and then go. In this way, in 50 years, he left this world. When in the forest, and luckily, how he went so much at night on his ear that breathing stream lifetime was lost in third day we came and he used to be a town and thus Oh, Shamran. You can come and see me. Oh. Oh, my And it does to the Lord's feet of my most worshipful Shikshu today. 